Well, the international media reports declared the Securities Commission of the Bahamas is intent to modernize the Digital Assets and Registered Exchanges Act, or DEAR Act, as shoring up digital asset loopholes two years after FTX's implosion. But according to Executive Director Christina Rome, a framework has been created that not only focuses on investor protection, but also encourages responsible innovation, positioning the Bahamas at the forefront of digital asset regulation globally. The DARE Act builds upon the foundation laid by the DARE Act of 2020 that introduces comprehensive reforms designed to address the evolving landscape of digital assets and cryptocurrency markets. This in addition to the passing of the Securities Industry Act last month. The new DARE bill also addresses um, conflicts of interest um, within, within the framework of a digital asset business as well as um, um, a framework for, for, for the operational aspects of exchanges. Previously, under the Securities Industry Act, and this is also a modernization point, the offense of tipping off was not included, and we've now created the offense of tipping off. And tipping off, of course, is if someone is under investigation, they shouldn't be tipped off that they are under investigation. So if I'm coming to you for information on that person, you shouldn't tip that person off. The Commission is also working to transform other legislation to modernize the financial services industry. We have some concerns in the money lenders space. You may note that the Commission um, is also the regulator for financial and corporate service providers. We've had, um, we've had some concern in the money lenders space and we're probably um, going, you're probably going to see some action from us soon in that space, also in developing a comprehensive, um, I guess, comprehensive rules with respect to money lending. Hi there, I'm Corval Pfeiffer. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things Zenas.